Shalom. I got a letter in the mail today from my father, Heavenly Father. I was asked to share it, so I thought I'd share it with all of you in a video. It reads, My child, you may not know me, but I know everything about you. Find that in Psalm chapter one, or yeah, chapter one thirty nine, verse one. I know when you sit down and when you rise up. Psalm one thirty nine, verse two. I am familiar with all your ways. Chap Psalm chapter one thirty nine, verse three. Even the very hairs on your head are numbered. Matthew chapter ten. Verses 29 through 31. You were made in my image. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. In me you live and move and have your being, for you are my offspring. Acts chapter 17 verse 28. I knew you even before you were conceived. Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 4 and 5. I chose you when I planned creation. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 11 and 12. You are not a mistake, for all your days are written in my book. Psalm chapter 139, verses 15 and 16. I determined the exact time of your birth and where you would live. Acts chapter 17, verse 26. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm chapter 139 verse 14 I knit you together in your mother's womb Psalm chapter 139 verse 13 and I brought you forth on the day you were born Psalm chapter 71 verse 6 I have been misrepresented by those who don't know me John chapter 8 verses 41 through 44 I am not distant and angry but am the complete expression of love. 1 John chapter 4, verse 16. And it is my desire to lavish my love on you. 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. Simply because you are my child and I am your father. 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. I offer you more than your earthly father ever could. Matthew chapter 7 verse 11 for I am the perfect father Matthew chapter 5 verse 48 every good gift that you ever receive comes from my hand James chapter 1 verse 17 for I am your provider and I meet all your needs Matthew chapter 6 verses 31 through 33 my plan for your future has always been filled with hope. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 Because I love you with an everlasting love. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 3 My thoughts towards you are countless as the sand on the seashore. Psalm chapter 139 verses 17 and 18 I rejoice over you with singing. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 17 I will never stop doing good to you Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 40 You are for you are my treasured possession Exodus chapter 19 verse 5 I desire to establish you with all my heart and all my soul Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 41 and I want to show you great and marvelous things. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. If you seek me with all your heart, you will find me. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 29. Delight in me, and I will give you the desires of your heart. Psalm 37, verse 4. For it is I who gave you those desires. Philippians chapter 2 verse 13. 
I am able to do more for you than you could possibly imagine. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 always been one of my favorite verses. For I am your greatest encourager. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 16 and 17. I am also the Father who comforts you in all your troubles. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 3 and 4. When you are brokenhearted, I am close to you in all your troubles. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 3 and oh. <laughs> When you are brokenhearted, I am close to you. Psalm chapter 34, verse 18. As a shepherd carries a lamb, I have carried you close to my heart. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 11. One day I will wipe away every tear from your eyes, and I will take away all the pain you have suffered on this earth. Revelation chapter 21, verses 3 and 4. I am your father. And I love you even as I love my son, Jesus. John chapter 17, verse 23. In him, my love for you is revealed. John chapter 17, verse 26. He is the exact representation of my being. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3. He came to demonstrate that I am for you, not against you. Romans chapter 8 verse 31 and to tell you that I am not counting your sins against you 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 verses 18 and 19 Jesus died so that you and I could be reconciled 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 verses 18 and 19 his death was the ultimate expression of my love for you 1st John chapter 4 verse 10 I gave up everything I love that I might gain your love Romans chapter 8 verses 31 and 32 if you receive the gift of my son Jesus you receive me 1st John chapter 2 verse 23 and nothing will ever separate you from my love again Romans chapter 8 verses 38 and 39 come home and I'll throw the biggest party heaven has ever seen Luke chapter 15 verse 7 I have always been father and will always be father Ephesians chapter 3 verses 14 and 15 my question is will you be my child John chapter 1 verses 12 and 13 I am waiting for you Luke chapter 15 verses 11 through 32 love your dad almighty God for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you are a child of God, then you are my brother and my sister, and I look forward to eternity with you. If you're not a child of God, you can easily become a child of God by accepting the sacrifice that Jesus came and made for all of us. His life was perfect. And it was only that perfect sacrifice that could pay the price for my sins, for your sins, for everybody's sins, all at the same time. And all you have to do is say the salvation prayer. Confess your sins. Lord God, I am a sinner. I turn away from my wicked ways and accept what your son did on the cross at Calvary. I believe that he died and rose from the dead and took the sins of the world on himself for our salvation. I am now saved and washed in the blood of Christ. And don't worry about taking a blood bath. It's not like an earthly blood bath because nothing can take away my sins, nothing but the blood of Jesus. It purifies us 
makes us white as snow. It's the only thing that can take away sins. When Adam and Eve first sinned in the garden, they realized that they were sinners and they were ashamed. And so God killed animals for them to give them clothes because they had clothed themselves with fig leaves. And God gave them animal skins and it was that shed blood that covered that original sin. And up until that time, until the time of Jesus, they had to continually make sacrifices and atonement for their sins. But God wanted to do away with all that once and for all. So he came in the flesh and he did it. He did it for all of us. So that way we don't have to go and sacrifice animals to cover our sins. They are covered once and for all. It is finished. Hallelujah. God bless you. I love you. Shalom.